Grow Garden is one of the most popular Roblox games right now, and that's because of its online growing mechanics. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a similar game with something that'll progress or grow offline. So I'll just give a demonstration of what I'm going to show you. So what I've got is this little part that you can click to plant things on, and then they grow while you're offline. So I'll just show you, I'll stop the game. It saves when I leave and then when I rejoin, but first I'll just wait a minute. So now I rejoined and I'll turn around. As you can see that they've, they've grown a little bit. I didn't stay offline for too long, so they didn't grow too much, but I'll plant a few more so that you can see the, the difference in size and you'll notice that they actually have grown. So now I'll play again after waiting a second. And here you can see the, I've also got them as different colors based on how far through their growth they are. But here you can see that some of them are smaller and some of them are bigger based on how long they've been growing. And I'll show you how to make it in a minute. I'm just going to give one more example of how big they grow and stuff like that. And here you can see it's really obvious now the difference of growth size. And yeah, so now I'll show you how to make it. I've added these little comments or annotations and so I'll just help read them out or you can, I'll put the link in the description not the link but all of this text the script and then you can copy it and read them all yourself if you want to but anyways so this is the first part the essentials that roblox needs to use and then the next part is for the data store it saves your stuff to the cloud and this part is what you can change depending on what you want or the characteristics of the thing you want to grow so you can change how fast it grows which is that thing at the top i did 0 0.2 Max height, which is how tall it'll grow, and then base height, which is how tall it'll start as. Cache is a table that holds the live data for all players, which is that part. And then here are all the core functions. I won't read out all of these, you can do that yourself if you want to, because this is just a lot. But these are all the functions for the garden setup and all of the other things. If you want to set yours up exactly like mine, you also need to add a part named placing pad planting pad not placing and also inside of that a click detector so this is the main part of the script it handles most of the leaving and rejoining stuff which is the whole offline growing mechanics and then also the calculations of how much it grows and then this is the last part the initialization of everything so now you can go ahead and change whatever you want to in the script that i showed you and by that i mean the growth height and also as you can see these are green but some of you won't want it to be green because maybe you're not making plants or you're doing something else slightly different. And I'll show you how to change that. So that's in this part of the script where it's talking about color. Right now I've got it so it starts off green and then depending on how much it's grown it gets brighter. You can change it just the base color to make it one solid color or you can do a few other things which I'll show you. So first off, I'll just change this color to one solid color and then press play. And you can see they're all yellow, but only that one shade of yellow, it doesn't matter how tall or how short they are. Or here you can change this, depending on how much you want the colour to be impacted by growth. I did a low number, so now they're not really impacted much. But now I'll do a higher number, like 2. And then the colour here largely ranges depending on the size of your plant. And thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll put a link for the Discord in the description if you want to leave suggestions or you can just use the comments. Bye.